It's a new year, new me, and I'm ready to see what books I'm going to be reading to start off this year. Hey everyone, how are you? I just realised I haven't properly said happy 2022 to you, so happy 2022. I hope it's going alright for you so far, and welcome to the January edition of TBR Clear! I always say it like that. I just get so excited. The light is going in and out, in and out today. So apologies for any light changes that we have, but hello. <laughs> so if you don't know, TBR Cluedo is my TBR game that I play every single month, themed off of Super Cluedo. Nothing has changed. It's staying the same. <laughs> all the rules are the same. So I'll leave the link down below to the playlist where you can watch the first episode that has all the different rules in it if you don't know anything about it yet. Let's just get straight into it. So December's TBR was oh my whoa no! i don't know why i thought that would work like throwing them in the air i just thought throwing them they'd come back in the same order anyway it was these five books plus the audiobook for the novella christmas at the grange i have read these four and Christmas at the Grange. Midnight Everwood was our book club pick for December over on my Patreon. We had to push the live show back to this weekend to give those in the US a bit more time to get their hands on it because it's a little bit harder for them to get their hands on it. So I've started it, I'm about 50 pages in, so no punishments, but by the time this goes up anyway, I will have finished it because our live show for the book club is happening right after this premieres. So also if you can hear loads of banging around my house today, we've got loads of work going on, but this is my only time to film, so. We have no choice. Anyway, I think that is all of our housekeeping for this month. So let's just get into the first roll of TPR Cluedo for the new year. Oh my God, how exciting. Okay, time for roll one. Person number two, which is purple. So we're in mystery. And how many are we gonna roll? Whoa, a five or a one? Okay, one, two, huh. Three, four, five. Okay, which is number 16, which is a mystery with four or more words in the title. Okay, so roll one was a mystery with four or more words in the title. And for this, I have chosen to read As Good As Dead by Holly Jackson. I wanted this to be my first book I read this year anyway, so we're lucky that it fits into the TBR. But I basically haven't read anything the first half of this year. I haven't finished a book yet. And I've got to finish Midnight in Everwood because it is our book club pick. So I've read the first like 60 pages of this, but that's all I've read. Like I'm not like into working like that. Like. I can do like social media every now and then, but like I don't want to like go nine to five job. I'll come back to it in the next week or so, but this is basically the final installment to one of my favorite mystery series ever, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. If you watched my recent um, best books of 2021 video, you'll know it was on there. I'm scared for this one because people have said it goes down a very different route than the first two books. We're following Pip, who's kind of this like teenage detective in her local town. And by this book, Sis has been through a lot of shit. In book one, I was like, oh my God, I can so relate to Pip. And now I'm like, girl, you've gone down a different route in life than I did. Like, <laughs> I can't really relate to where you're at at this point in your life. So she's been through a lot in the kind of various cases she's tried to uncover. She's seen a lot of horrible things. And in this one, I believe she has a stalker and the kind of mystery is trying to figure out who her stalker is. So I'm very excited to read it. Very excited to finish off one of my favorite series. I'm hoping it's still gonna be like a 4.5 five star like the other two books were for me, but I'm nervous because everyone has said it goes down a completely different road. So I don't know what to expect, but we're gonna hope for good things. Okay, time for roll number two. Person number one, which is green. A five and a five. Okay, let's just use, I could, because I've rolled a double, I could move and then roll again, but I think I'm just gonna pick something in this room. Um, so let's see, let's just go one, two, three, four, five. That was easy. <laughs> that is number 13, which is a TBR veteran. Okay, so roll two was a fantasy that is a TBR veteran. And for this, can you guess what I picked? <laughs> I'm finally gonna read King of Crows by Libba Brace. You've got to be shitting me. 
so I have promised to read this many times. It was in a TBR for TBR Cluedo a couple months ago. There's been many reading vlogs where I say at the start I'm gonna read this book and then I don't. I'm just scared, okay? I'm just- <laughs> no one likes it! <laughs> This is the final book in the Diviners series, and I really like the Diviners, gave it four stars. Loved Lair of Dreams, a five star. Before the Devil Breaks You, 2.5. And then everyone doesn't really like this, and says it's worse than Before the Devil Breaks You, so like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> So we're in New York in the 1920s and we're following this kind of Scooby gang of friends who have these magical powers. Listen, I'm just hoping for good things. I, I don't think, from what I've heard, people's stories, like individual character stories, don't get wrapped up in the best way. It, it's big, like it's a big book, like it's very long, small fun, like it, it's a lot of reading. But I do want to finish this series off and I really like Libra Bray. Libra Bray's books have this kind of like drama to them that I really like. As someone who did drama all my life, up until the age of 18, I did it for A-level, I've done it ever since I was a kid. I love like theatrics in books. I love stuff that's a bit over the top and like, I really feel like The Diviners is that and kind of looks at it in a kind of theatric point of view. And Libba Bray used to be in like, theatre I believe. I think I was listening to a podcast she did and I think she spoke about that being what she did at uni and you can definitely feel it. So I really like Libba Bray's writing. I'm hoping for great things. But I'm really nervous. <laughs> okay, roll number three. Person number three, which is red up here in historical. Ooh, a one and a four. One, two, three, four, five. Which is number 21. And that is a title with two words. Something about the <laughs> books that are talking about how many words a book has in the title I seem to be attracted to in this game and I'm not sure why. So Roll 3 was a historical fiction with two words in the title and for this one I decided this would be the choice that my patrons voted on for our book clubs. If you don't know I have something called the Cattails Book Club with my patrons and we read a book together every month, we have a discussion live show for it, I do an exclusive reading vlog for that book and they get to vote on one round of TBR Cluedo every month to pick what that book is. So the choices that I gave them for this were Lovely War by Judy Berry, Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid, Harlem Shuffle by Colson Whitehead, and The Perishing by Natasha Dion. Now these two were definitely the front runners, but one of these won by quite a lot, and it was Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Now, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the fact we are gonna be reading an ultra summary book in winter. He's mugged you off, darling. Yes, mucked you off. We picked Midnight Everwood last month because it was like a wintry, like in the mood book. And then this is like height of summer. So maybe we're all just craving summer and we're gonna live through it vicariously for this. But I am super excited to finally be reading this. It was such an anticipated release for me. I absolutely loved both The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and Daisy Jones and The Six. I'm hoping to reread both of them quite soon actually. So I'm really excited to read this with my patrons. The link is always down below if you wanna come join us for the book club. It's so much fun. Our live show discussions are always like one of my highlights of the patron I love them so so much and um, I'm gonna hopefully experiment with the patron soon of like getting some of you guys onto the live shows I think I'd be really fun in the book club and stuff so this is what we're gonna be reading I'll be doing a reading vlog over there for it so you won't see it in a reading vlog on the channel all I know about this is that we're following Mick Reaver's children and it's like set during 24 hours, I think, at this party that they're throwing in August 1983. And we're kind of following all the different siblings and what they have going on. Very intrigued. It hasn't been as highly rated and like loved as her other two most popular books, but I'm still really excited to read it. Roll number four. Person number seven, which is brown over here. And then five and a five okay i've got to think about how i do this i haven't really got anything like magical realism -y that i really want to read this month so i think i'm going to maybe try and get into horror i've got a horror i quite really like to read this month so because i rolled a double i can move that and roll again so we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then roll again got a one and a five we can get in there one two three four five 
that is number nine, which is a book with under 6,000 ratings on Goodreads. Roll four was a horror that has under 6,000 ratings on Goodreads. So kind of like an underhyped, less read book is the kind of idea of this prompt. And I have chosen The Nesting by C.J. Cook. I don't really know much about this. I'm reading it for a secret TBR that's coming out this month. So I bought it for that and I don't really know <laughs> anything about it. All I know is that it's a horror and it had under 6,000 ratings on Goodreads. So it worked for me. It worked for the prompt. I'm not getting involved. I'm here to enjoy myself, GC style. Do you know what I mean? I just want to be me. A house stands alone in the woods. Deep in the forests of Norway, Lexi finds a fresh start with Tom and his two daughters working as their new nanny. The darkness creeps closer. But Lexi is telling lies and she's not the only one. The family has a history and this place has a past. Oh, okay. Sounds interesting. Yeah, I didn't know too much about it, but I'm very excited to read it all the same for the vlog that will be coming out this month. Roll number five. Person number eight, which is blue down in contemporary. I would quite like to get the rose prompt this month for my patrons. Um, so let's see if we can get to that. Okay, we've got a five and a five. I think we can maybe get to it with 10. Let's see how we do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. There we go. So that is the rose prompt, which means my patrons will pick what I read. Roll five was the rose prompt. I haven't had this for the past couple months, but I always really want to try and pick it because I really want to pick what my patrons have told me to read. So if you don't know, everyone who joins my Patreon gets to pick two books off of my TBR. I send them like my Goodreads TBR that I have everything listed on there that I own and they can pick two books off of it that they want me to read. And it goes into this jar. There'll be a lot of casualties. We're going to have a lot of casualties. And yes, there will be some casualties. Yes, there will. Okay, picking something out of here because it is packed tight. Oh, we've already had one. <laughs> I, I, I need to transfer it to something else other than this because we're overflowing. We've got too many, but I'm just gonna pick one of these and whatever it is, I have to read it this month. Okay, oh my God, they're just, okay, I've just got to pick one. <laughs> okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. Okay, so only one patron has picked this. Both times I've done the rose prompt, I've gotten a book that only one patron has picked. I've always expected it to be like, there's some books in here that like 10, 15 people have picked. And I always expect it to be one of them. But it's only one and it was Memo. So Memo picked Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. I have the audio book of this, so that's how I'm gonna be reading it. I can't remember much about it. I think it's about this girl whose best friend goes missing and it's her trying to find her. Tiffany D. Jackson is definitely an author I wanna make my way through her back this. I did read White Smoke this year, um, last year, oh my God. <laughs> Happy New Year! And I didn't love it. I, I didn't love it. But I feel like I could still love her other stuff. So I really want to read Grown and Monday's Not Coming this year. And I'm going to be reading Monday's Not Coming this month, which is super exciting. Okay, time for our last roll. And then final roll, person number six, which is yellow over here in Thriller. And let's see how many we roll. We've got a one and a three. Okay, let's just go one, two, three. That is number one, which is a new to me author. So our last role was a thriller with a new to me author. So an author I have never read before. And I have chosen Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. So I've never read anything by Alice Feeney. I feel like she's quite a popular thriller author, but I've never read anything by her. I know this is about a couple who have had some marital issues and they're going on this trip to this really isolated, snowy place together and shit starts occurring. Now I love Isolation. Isolation needs to be like a character in a book for me. Like, I love it that much. We need this. This is essential. This is a crisis. Isolation as a trope just gets me going. <laughs> I don't know why, but I love it. So I'm so excited to read this. It's been like one of my most anticipated thrillers to get to. It's not very long. It's under 300 pages as well, which gets me excited. <laughs> so I'm really excited to pick this up. This is for another vlog as well that's coming out this month. And um, yeah, I'm super excited for you to watch me read this. And hopefully, I feel like I'm gonna have fun reaction to this 
Ravensburg. I just have a good feeling. So that <laughs> is our TBR for this month for January. Plus Monday's not coming on the audiobook. I'm super happy with what I've picked. We've got some series that we're finishing. We've got some really hyped books we're going to be reading. So I have a good feeling. Let me know down below what is on your January TBR. I'd love to know what books you're most hoping to get to this month. Thank you so much for watching as always. I have so many fun plans for the channel coming out this year and I just love you guys so much. Thank you for all your support and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye!